Hello, welcome to another vlog. We just came back to campus after our Diwali break and I woke up a little late because we had our classes from 10 a.m. that day and not from 9 and Delhi has become really really cold. Uh, I went straight to breakfast after wake, waking up and we had a very relaxing breakfast like we sat and just talked because we were not in a rush as our classes were from 10 so it was nice to just sit and chat during the breakfast and it felt nice to slowly eat which is usually not the case every morning where we rushed for time and mama if you're watching this video i do drink milk in the mess not daily but i do that at times yes so after finishing my breakfast, I would head back to my room to get ready for the classes. And here is the girls hostel gym, which by the way, I've never been to till now, but um, okay, anyway, moving on. Yeah, so I came back to my room and I was making my bed and you can still see that my bags and everything is out because I have yet not unpacked and I had to do that and I'm cleaning my glasses because I recently got glasses uh, which I'm supposed to mandatorily wear. So I took a bath and got ready for classes. I was still not feeling the hostel mood, the college vibe because I was still very homesick and Diwali was so much fun, it was so nice to go back to home and here I am already. I don't know why but I love this way from our hostel to the academic block. It is just quite peaceful for some reason and I really really like it. Although that doesn't change the fact that academic block still gives me very depressing vibes. But we have all our classes, all our meetings, almost everything scheduled in the academic block itself. And this is my class. Uh, we were just getting ready for our first lecture. And again, like normal daily routine, we were taking notes, we were listening to the professor talk, trying to understand what is happening, trying to make sense of what happens in the class. That's the usual stuff. Here we are waiting to interview our professor for a project. So we are making a, pro a podcast as a project. So the best part about our college is that in our first year, we had to do only three projects out of which only one was a proper research based project and the other two were activity based projects wherein we could do a podcast, a skit, a documentary, anything using the creative media. So we decided to interview a professor for a documentary that we were making on Gandhiji and the changing narratives attached with Gandhi throughout the years. Here we are just setting up the camera for the interview. So it's so much more fun to work on projects like these rather than the conventional projects that we do. They are so much more exciting to engage with and the process of making and working on it is so much fun and intriguing. So this was my first time interviewing someone so obviously I was a little nervous too. But I felt that the interview went on quite smoothly and it was so 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 much fun. It was so cool to record your professor and take his interview. And here we are all happy and satisfied with the interview. Finally having some content to work on with the project. So we were back to class and if you feel that we just study in Nilu Delhi in our classes, that's so not the case. Uh, this is a very regularly occurring phenomenon in the classes. So I was heading back to the hostel to have lunch. After the mid -sems, I realized that it's very very important to pay attention in the classes. So I have started doing that and because of that I feel so tired once our lectures get over that I just want to go back to the hostel, have lunch and then just rest because I'm so so exhausted. We had dosa and South Indian lunch that day which is okay shonti and I headed back to my room. I sat just to relax and I decided to plan on for the evening because I had a quite long evening ahead. So finally I rested for around 30 to 40 minutes. Right after waking up, my roommates and I, we decided to have snacks. It was Bhilpuri and Ruavsa. 
And it was also the time when all three of us collectively decided to sit and reflect on what our college lives look like. And so it was a very fascinating conversation because we came to realize that how we all, all three of us are first years, but we have such different college lives because of the activities we decide on doing. And finally, I came back to my room to unpack and organize. I, as a person, am very dysfunctional when things are messy. I am not able to be productive. So finally, I was doing my Diwali unpacking and everything, getting settled in the hostel. So it was a lot of work after a lot of efforts. Finally, everything was in place and it felt really, really nice, a little more settled. Yay! So I sat down to complete my work. I had a few things planned that day. I had to work on my project a little bit and do some research for another event. So I don't really go to the library every time I want to work. Sometimes I feel comfortable working in my room itself. Like you can aram se pura fellow everything and take space and work like the must okay. So yeah, that's the liberty that working in room gives to you. So one thing that has happened after Diwali and also mid-sems is that suddenly academics has become very very rigorous. It has become demanding and challenging at the same time. I was also preparing for the CR class that I was supposed to take that day itself. I was writing down on a few questions and topics that I wanted to discuss in the class and since the Wi-Fi in the hostel ditched me very badly I had to go out of my room to take the class because the net was not working at all mirror video from the lift super messy and this is the basketball court two of my friends were playing so I just decided to record them uh, because I still had time for my class to begin so I just went and watched them play a little I was trying to find a location to take my class but there were people everywhere and so I decided to go to the academic block to the spooky end of the academic block you'll see and take my class from there because not a lot of people come over there and the Wi-Fi is excellent. This is the infamous academic block corridor and that's the spooky end that I've been talking about. I quickly decided to set up for my class. I am always very excited before taking a class, however tired I am, because I absolutely love teaching. It is so much fun and I learn a lot about myself after each and every class and the feedback from the students keep you so motivated. So right after the class, I had a meeting of the collective that has been recently started by one of my seniors. It's a collective for environmental action and it's in a very nascent state so we were discussing on the basics of it and these meetings are really really fun. I really enjoy them. This is the NLUD campus at night. It looks so 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 gorgeous. I can't tell you how much I love taking walks in the night because it's so beautiful to be here on campus during the night time. So I had not had dinner that day and so my roommate and I we had ordered uh, rice bowls and I went to the bag gate to collect them to finally sit and have dinner because we were almost done for the evening. After collecting my dinner I finally went back to my room. It was really late and I was super hungry. It always feels so good to come back to the room. It's such a personal and nice face. Also a quick thought, I really like these days that are overloaded with work because it feels so relaxing to come back to the room and then you feel so good about yourself. And the food looked so tasty and not just the looks of it, it was so tasty. Smoky butter chicken from the bowl company is a big thumbs up guys. And then again my roommate and I, we had a very interesting conversation about all the things that happened during our day. And after having dinner, I came to my bed I was so tired I literally couldn't do anything else so I just prepared to sleep it was a fun day I really enjoyed it and I couldn't think of anything else I just wanted to sleep I was that tired so I hope you liked the video and I will see you with another video soon bye bye